Greetings all, Vanna here for Sagittarius's weekend message. Sagittarius, I apologize for the delay from the first half. When the solar flares hit yesterday, I had a horrible pain in my eye and I could not uh, continue channeling. But I am here for you this morning. You have protection and cave coming out for you. And being energetically sensitive, there is a time to where we need to retract from the world and go to protect ourselves again, but also protect what it is we are creating. This very much reminds me of a womb and um, the seed of creation and the seed of life that she is sitting on right there. And I also feel energetically in those places in my own chakras. So if you are not looking to become a parent anytime soon, be careful, be precautious, and look at your state laws. You have atoms and buildings that are coming out for you. So you could be building and creating a life that is not human and carbon-based, but creating a new platform, creating a business, or just creating a new life for yourself. This could just be you going through a rebirth, which so many people will like understate the value of because there's so much that's like, oh, well, I did this for this other person and I did this for this organization, but we do not give ourselves enough credit for the work that we do for ourselves, the healing that we undergo. You have sun and light coming out for you. This reminds me of a tower card energy, but in the most peaceful way. Like, yeah, everything is kind of collapsing around you, but just, you know, get some hot cocoa and watch the world burn and let anything that is ready to leave, leave. And what I mean by this is as we grow up and develop through new phases of our egos, we hang on to old aspects of ourselves because we still feel like they are applicable to the person that we are now, such as a habit that we've carried. Um, when we were a teenager and you still do somewhat now even though truthfully you don't want to do it or it does not serve you anymore to continue to do something like this um, one example out of myself uh, I am a year sober from alcohol uh, I am turning 24 tomorrow and I have several years of bad drinking experience and that was one decision that I made that I honestly thought that I would never be at that point, especially so young in my life where I'm just not drinking because it is something that is so like accepted and pushed, not, not so much pushed, but idealized in society, especially in American society. Being at the age that I am, it's most likely that everyone else my age would be going out partying and drinking and doing things like that. But I did not resonate with that kind of lifestyle. And when I did try to dip my toes into that water, it wasn't very nice. And so this was something that I had to admit to myself, that that does not serve my greatest and highest good. It does not make me happy, and it is something that I am going to leave behind. When, if you had told me that at 19, I would have thought you were completely crazy and a buzzkill. But we all grow with time and discipline. And then also just like a whole bunch of cards just kind of exploded everywhere. So whatever it is that you're building, it will take time to build and become everything that it is meant to be. Because if something comes quickly, it can be taken away just as quickly. And similarly, if something is worth saying, it's worth taking a long time to say. Yes, that is a quote from Treebeard in Lord of the Rings, but I love those movies. And so when you're going through this journey of discovering, building, construction, whatever it is that you are doing, Allow yourself to change. Allow your idea of what it is you are working on to change because where you are when you start and where you will be where you end are going to be two very different scales. You're going to be a very different person on the end of that spectrum. And a lot of us get stuck in imposter syndrome when we go through those opportunities of like, that's not something, that's not who I am. That's, that's not something that I can, I am a bag end, a bag end, but you are also a took. There is, there is more to you than just the facade and the mask that we put out to the world. And please do not feel like I'm attacking you when I say facade. 
everyone puts a mask on to the world. That's our ego. That's the aspect of our soul that we push out to the world. But so many of us feel like that is all we are. And that is not true, my love. You deserve this fresh start. You deserve this new opportunity. And it will require you to be brave. It will require you to look in, at face things that you've never faced before or things that you have been avoiding for a very long time. The grounding card came out in reverse. So I feel like you are ungrounded in this moment. And you need to re-solidify. You need to re-secure yourself. And I feel like that's going back to this protection and cave card. How she is so very much in the earth. Like her bottom half is in the earth. Being integrated in that energy. And that's wonderful because that means that root chakra foundation is having such a direct connection to mother. And that will just re-solidify how strong your foundation is moving forward. Your root chakra is the base of the pull, the energetic pull that runs through all of us. And it is so often out of alignment. Break free from the hostilities. Break free from the repression. Break free from the energy that makes you feel like you are not enough, that makes you feel insecure, afraid, or scared. And don't be afraid to ask for help. And if you feel like you can't ask for a per for help from a person, then ask for help from spirit, ancestors, angels, guardians and guides, gods, divine entities, whoever it is you feel comfortable calling out to, it is not false. It is your world and you are indeed the center of your universe. That does not mean you can go about thinking it's your perspective is the all knowing because we do not have access to everything. But there is a point for you to speaking up for yourself because it's something that you deserve. Only in the darkness can you see the stars. Only when everything has gone out can you see how beautiful and wonderful everything that you are is. So please enjoy the journey. Enjoy the, the path that, it's, that you are going on to become your most amazing self Sagittarius and smile have take those moments to enjoy life take those moments to just be happy because they're difficult to find sometimes things are working out like it says with the time and discipline it is going it's not going to happen as fast as you want it to and it's not going to happen in the way that you think it's going to happen to get away from this situation with the, these angry aggressors and like the bear and the lion coming out together. I just feel like that is that is aggressors, but also protections. So like the two sides of the coins, you are running away from one group to find safety in another. And hopefully in that group, you will have a little more love and understanding and compassion than the previous one. And even if it is just you finding your spirit team and you finding yourself, that's amazing because that means you get the unconditional love uh, and support from spirit. And you don't have to seek outside of yourself to seek in a person that love that you are capable of seeing in yourself. Sometimes we do need someone to help guide us and show us that we are deserving and worthy of love. But ultimately, the end goal is to be the source of love for yourself and to enjoy the other's presence. There's 1122 on my clock and I did catch 555 here. There's a lot of things coming into synchronicity for you, Sagittarius. You have to take the time to look, listen, and be aware that everything is indeed out of control. But when you co-create with spirit, you have a lot more hand in the manifestation of your life. Have a beautiful day, my love.